Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. Let's jump in on a four streak doing pretty well. We had a great Tainted Lilith run last and I am excited to go and play Tainted Mastema to the Beast. Okay, Tainted Mastema is actually a character that I haven't had a very good shot at playing correctly because the last time, um, the last time I played as this character, uh, ooh, hello. Ooh, definitely gonna take this, yes. Um, but yeah, the last time I, uh, also this is gold, so I might, actually, I want the left hand more. Um, the last time I played this character, I didn't really get to play it to the fullest extent, because I, um, I got a really good game break on him, <laughs> and kind of cheesed my way to victory, so, uh, this time we've got a bit more of a, of a true playthrough as him, I think, but, we just started with Adam's Rib, which is fantastic. Essentially, Adam's Rib is going to drop a knife for, I think it's like three times our damage on an enemy's head whenever we um, hit them for the first time. Do you know what? Kidney Stone's amazing too. Let's take that. And as you can clearly see, we are, um, we are going to be taking quite a few broken hearts throughout the course of these runs. And essentially, we can remove those either via going to the next floor, which will remove one, or using sacrifice rooms, which will remove one also. So, we've got a few different methods here, but obviously, sac rooms are a little less reliable just because they don't show up as often. But we will see how this goes. We will try to, um, we will try to, to move along and see what's what. But yes, as for, there you go, look at that. As for the question of today's episode, what's your guys' favorite modded character out of all the ones you've seen, um, tainted or non-tainted, what, what has been your guys' favorite modded character? Because I, it's a real toss up for me. Like, like idea wise, I think Andromeda probably, but like gameplay wise, I think tainted Jacob is probably my favorite right now. Um. I think he's really, really fun, but he's a really, really difficult choice, I'll be honest. Very, very difficult indeed. But we've already got some good stuff going on. I'm sorry, but we have to take Anarchy. Like, I realise that that almost killed me, uh, but Anarchy is hilariously fun. And this is just going to be the stupidest run you've ever seen. Um, so if we go over to our encyclopedia and just go to inventory real quick, we can see Anarchy here. Pickups a pa uh, a passive item has a 50% chance of guaranteeing as an extra copy. Gives us spectral tears. All enemies are randomized. There's a very good chance we straight up die because of what I just did. But I feel like it's basically necessary. Uh, so we'll go down to the next floor. Now we kind of like we kind of need to play sack rooms. Uh, otherwise we're gonna have kind of a bad time. Um, ooh, do you know what? This, we should be okay for damage wise, just because we've got, um, the items that we've got right now, we've actually got a really good setup for, uh, dealing with most enemies. Um, I will take, and I will take, a 48 RNG is super good for us right now, because we, ha we have a lot of broken hearts right now, but we don't have, like, an absurd amount. Plan C, oh, great, thanks. Um, oh, forget me now. <laughs> We literally got back-to-back -back plan C and forget me now. Hell yeah, I'll take forget me now. Okay. Um, obviously, we'll play out this floor and see if we can um, get some good stuff going on with... Oh, my God. With uh, that library. I'd like to get in there. But, yeah, now that we have Spectral, we're in a really good spot as well. Because we have Flight and Spectral. But you can see Adam's Rib is just popping off. I love Adam's Rib as an item. Oh, what the fuck? I did not... <laughs> I did not see that coming at all. That scared the shit out of me. Wasn't expecting an enemy of that caliber to be on this floor. Okay, we're good, we're good. Careful of all these fires. We'll check this out. Can't believe we've got a crawl space from a pot. Um, and we get a... Uh, look decreases accuracy, look up. Hell yes, I'll take it. Really should have thought about the fact that that's going to give me some broken hearts, because I did not think about that then. <laughs> I really didn't consider that. I just picked it up. I didn't really see the uh, the broken hearts there. But as you can see, we're, we're kind of in a, in a I wouldn't say a rough spot, but not a great spot, <laughs> like, with our broken hearts right now. But also, I feel like we have enough items to win. <laughs> like, all we need now is, like, a damage up, and we're good to go. Okay. But as you can see, we're, we're killing enemies very, very quickly here. 
like that look. Damage up. And again, kind of forgot that this would give me a broken heart, I'll be honest. There's a sack room. Okay, we can play that. I believe it'll instantly remove one. There you go. It instantly removed t uh, two, I believe. And then we can do that. Okay, still no key, unfortunately. It's a bit, bit iffy. But we'll carry on. God damn, <laughs> I'm playing this character in the riskiest way possible, and I kind of love it. Right, secret room could be here. I doubt it, though. Yeah, um, I just have to check it. I'm not sure where else it could be. I'll try this out. It is a health up. Nice. In fact, if it's a health up, shall I, shall I go and try and... I don't actually know if sack rooms can remove multiple broken hearts, but I think I've kind of got to try it at this point. Okay, there you go. Nice, 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 nice. Good stuff. Okay. Yeah, we're going to want to be doing that as much as we possibly can. Um, more charges we get, the better. But anyways, let's uh, let's go. And we'll, then we'll use Forget Me Now after our boss. I doubt we'll be taking the boss item just because I doubt there's any feasible way that we're able to pick it up. Um, yeah. And then Devil Deal. Is it, If I remember correctly, we, we, we do want to go Devil Deal. But I'm going to che just check the character page real quick to be a little more aware. Just because I think there's some funky stuff with Devil Deals with this character. Mastema. There we go. Let's have a little look-see. Tainted Mastema. Um, let's have a look. In addition to confessionals, can you sacrifice rooms? Okay, damaging yourself with a bomb will in a treasure room will reroll any items into another one. Damaging yourself with a bomb in a shop. Okay, I don't think there's anything here that's like really pressing about going to Devil Deal. So I'll hold out on that. Um, we'll pop this. This is just spicy. This is just spicy. And that, that removes another... Getting an extra floor is actually really good because that removes another black heart. Uh, another broken heart, sorry. Which is pretty fucking necessary considering. Oh, come on, fire. There you go. But now with that damage up, I think we're in a really good spot. I think we've got some good stuff going on. Finally got a key. Okay, we, we all... The only enemies we've really got to worry about is ones like them laser dudes and the, uh, and the brimstone guys. Ones that can hit us, like, across the room. Right. Hello, you. God damn it. Wasted my... Wasted my damn, uh, kidney stone there. PhD for better pills? Um... I don't know if that's in the cards yet. We just have a lot of broken hearts right now, and that's, like... It's a decent item, but it's not the best. Also, you're noticing that Adam's rib is destroying rocks when it falls. It's really nice when that happens. It's very nice indeed. Oh my god. This is a bit of a rough room for me here. Get a bomb. Let's go. Oh, I, I, I am loving this though. Oh, a bed here is really good. We don't need to use it yet. I don't even know why it's there. But <laughs> we, can, uh, we can hold off for now. But it's good to know that's there if we get a sack room. Oh, we do have a sack room, yeah. So we can actually do some really good stuff here. We can play it a few, a good few times. The machine gun is coming for you. Well, so far, this is just working out great. Even with the randomized enemies, we haven't had a doubled item yet. But we're likely to get one soon. Okay. Replace dimes with golden pennies. That's really good. Beggars have a 25% chance to respawn after being bombed. Um... I don't really know if I need... I don't really know if I need to smell anything here. Look at this beautiful... Infested. Okay, so... We want to go and um, pop our sack room a few times. So we'll go... One... And... Two. And then we'll go and sleep in that bed. Good, good. Oh, wait. Does sleeping in a bed also remove broken hearts? Because that seemed to remove a lot. I think it does. Okay, that's really positive for us now. PhD's a little more appetizing now, but I still don't think it's good enough to warrant uh, two broken hearts, I'll be honest. Um, taking damage spawns or random champ. Wait, do we, do we not get angel deals? It seems like we can't get angel deals. So that, skipping that last devil deal was a bad idea. Uh, let's check what's in here at least. Ooh, we got some good stuff here. 
Ooh, we got some good stuff here. Um, I'd love to get Star of the Bottomless Pit. Converts all blue flies into locusts. Uh, chance to spawn locusts up, uh, upon tears hitting an enemy. They're both really, really good. We can't. We unfortunately can't take both. Um, this is also really, really good. I think I'll take this. I know that this is technically better, but this is a really good item. So let's uh, let's keep her going. Health is just... I, one of the things I love about Mastemma and Tate and Mastemma is you are just constantly in turmoil. Like, or at least I am. I play this character so heckin' risky. I do not play this character safe in any way, shape, or form. But you can see my damage now is skyrocketing, which is exactly what we kind of needed. Lovely. And I do believe... The Adam's rib, um, the Adam's rib uh, knives scale with our damage, which means that the the damage that when we get a boosted damage, we do even more, which is pretty awesome. You get gone. You get gone. God, what is with the lack of keys on this run, though? We just have no keys all the time. Like, literally all the time. God damn. Got him. Ah, oh, I, I just love this. This is so fun. This is this is a run that, that I'm, I'm surely doomed to fail. Like, I just feel like I am. But I'm having a lot of fun nonetheless. Good, good. Pop that. There's a key. Lovely. I really should be going to the shop a little more often as well, just because we get the, uh, the special shop. But item rooms are a little more my jam right now. Oh, uh, did we get... We got two of that item. I, did, I just realized. I kind of have to take sissy because I might get two sissies. I didn't. I just really wanted two sissies. <laughs> that would have been fun. Uh, but yeah, we got two of the uh, of the the demon head thing. I don't actually know if that'll do anything. kind of hope it does. Adam's ribs killing it right now. Feels like we are getting a higher damage bonus. But maybe that's just the placebo effect of seeing that we have two of them very plausible. Could do with a fire rate up. That'd be nice. There's some keys there, finally. Two are diamonds. I don't really know what money's going to be useful for, apart from beggars, really, so we'll get to that when we come to it. No thank you, you. We do have another sack room here. Uh, yeah, we'll pop these both open. Not had any good um, thingy rooms yet. Uh, sorry, not rooms. Uh, thingy chests, red chests. Okay, so these rooms are still are still the right enemies, I think. Okay, so let's spawn a judgment because that's basically all we get, all we have to spend our money on. And of course, it ended up being a demon judgment. God damn it! Um, right. Go for that. Pop that open. Oh, there's another one here actually. So we can go like that again to get that money. Oh my god, that's a lot of money. And then we can grab that. Okay. In a good spot now. I just... I, I love the idea of making you use sack rooms a little more strategically. And have a bit more of a reason to do so. Um, let see. Red room unlikely to be our ultra secret room. I'm, in fact, I'm pretty sure it's impossible that was. But we have another one lying about here. So I thought, why not? Uh, and then I don't really know where to check next. That was a bit of a toss up here. I think I'll maybe go off of... Um, yeah, off of here. Ah, we got a key though out of it. It's decent enough for me. Right. Uh, we should definitely check our shop here. Red candle, I think, is worth buying. Red candle's pretty good. We got crawl space here. Akeldama. Ah, no, 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 no. I don't think Akeldama's really, really sitting right with me. Tell you what does sit right with me, though. Fucking brimstone. Oh, we got double brimstone as well. Um, guys. Okay, I couldn't fire for a moment then. Yeah, we got doubled brimstone. So, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty awesome. I didn't expect to get doubled brimstone. I, I, I haven't had it, like, legit on an alien a run ever. So, this is pretty awesome. The doubled brimstone with, um, with triple shot. We're going to be pretty strong, I think. We do need to fire it up, though, pretty desperately. Pound of flesh isn't really f good for us. Um, let's just keep her moving. 
Oh, I, I'm, I'm in love with this run now. This run's got me, got me feeling, feeling good. Right, another another broken heart removed. Case of famine here. That's fine. I gotta say, now now having red candles kind of pointless. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's just heckin' beautiful. Oh, this is why I hate those fucking laser beam boys. They can just get you from off screen. <laughs> But even if we take literally zero more items now, we should be fine. We got famined there. Good, good. Oh, hello, that was close. Check in for fire rate upgrades. Ooh, thank you. Broken Murdom. Whoa, I've never seen a flooded shop like this before. That's kind of interesting. Uh, broken Murdom is totally something we can buy. First of all, let's check the shop beneath the. Right. Check what's down here first. Because we got brimstone last time, so. <laughs> it's pretty worthwhile to check. Right, we'll grab Broken Murdom here. And we got double Broken Murdom. Don't know really what that does for us, but there you go. And. Ka chow. Yeah, Broken Murdom's just really, really strong, so. Glad to have it. Even on just 4 HP, I think we can win this run. <laughs> Hello, little corn poop. Don't mind me. Oh, there you go. There's the keys. There's the keys. Good, good. Oh, shit. Yeah, I really need some charge speed here. Our charge speed is horrendous right now. Where are you? Oh, just a little dip survived. That's a reflected chest, don't worry about that for now. Magic pen, I don't think magic pen would work with our current setup, so let's leave that for now. But yeah, we're probably not going to find many more sack rooms now, unless they're more likely as this character, which I don't think they are. Um, We're probably not going to find too many more, so we kind of just have to rely on floor by floor to remove our broken hearts. So let's not take too many more items. But at the same time, I think looking at item tracker, we got some good stuff going on here. Uh, I don't think Kidney Stone works for us anymore, which is a little upsetting, but otherwise, yeah, Brimstone Ghost, I see ya. I love the Adam's Rib on those little spiders. It's, so, it's just so entertaining to watch. Look at that. Brrr. Knife rain. It's beautiful. More keys, finally, finally getting to the point where we have some good amount of keys now. Okay. Honestly, I am so glad we picked up Broken Murder. It's kind of saving me right now. Having all these wacky enemies like pause and stuff, because we don't really know what we're in for a lot of the time. So having them like pause in place so we have a chance to sort of get to know what the room's like. Really nice. Boom. Double pennies there, thank you. Okay. Yeah, see, seemingly this floor has no sack room. That's fine. We can deal with that. Beautiful. I love my doubled brimstone. Oh, look at that damage. The damage. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Down we go. D -d Down we go. Remove one of those. Pop this, why not? Fill up our health a little bit. And see what this room holds for us. You just never know what you're gonna get. It's 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 one of the things I love about um about anarchy. Obviously, it creates some really funky situations in certain rooms, but a lot of the time, it just creates these like crazy rooms where you, yeah, you just don't know what you're gonna get. Life is like a box of chocolates. Worst accent ever, but you know what I mean. What does this do? I like this definitely doesn't overwrite, does it? But what does it do? Um, Isaac. Dr. Beatus. It's really dark in my room right now. I forgot to turn up my light on when I when I came in. Um Right, Brimstone. Brimstone. Overwritten by Dr. Fetus. The beams can still appear from other sources such as sad bombs. That is upsetting to see. God damn it. That's really upsetting to see. 
Imagine, like, if it always had sad bomb brimstone uh, effects. That'd be awesome. I'd totally take that. But to be honest, that's all it would need to do as well. To be completely fine. But sadly, that is not the case right now. So we will leave that where it stands. But this has been a good run for items so far. I can't believe we got brimstone from, like, an extra shop. Okay. Still no items from red chests yet. That's a little bit of a shame. Oh, no. We did we did get plan C. I won't diss on plan C. I apologize. <laughs> Hello. Meet your demise. I, I feel like double brimstone really suits the aesthetic of this character quite nicely. Okay. Brimstone boy here. Got him. Beautiful. And the Emperor card. Emperor card's actually pretty good for us here, but I really like the uh, the idea of the Magician for Herming. I think, that, I think that could just annihilate whatever stands in our way. And I like the sound of Annihilation. Oh, lovely. What a room. What a room. Thank you. Oh, what the hell? Excuse me. He took like a full beam and was like, nah. <laughs> I don't give a damn. I love it when it spawns an enemy like that. Like, it spawns an enemy behind rocks that would normally be a flying enemy or, like, a pin. And it's just like, well, I, uh, I'm trapped. <laughs> I can't do anything here. Ooh, we've got a brimstone boy there. Check out a shop real quick. Uh, compass, I, definitely not worth the two broken hearts. Yeah, nothing that's worth, uh, worth broken hearts to us, unfortunately. We will be... Heading off to our boss. Oh my god, the enemies that he spawned would have been thingy. Um, <laughs> would have been a bunch of uh, extra random enemies. Does using this remove any? It does, I did not know that. Okay. It's good to know. Um, don't want any of that. I kind of do want that, but it would set us at 1 HP. And I feel like that's not a good idea. Um, and we're not really finding that many red hearts anyways, so it's like not that good. We should go back and get that soul heart at least. Yeah, remove some more broken hearts there. Sadly, not really finding tons of items that I want. I'm really trying to, to look for items that where doubling would be like quite effective, where, where we'd notice to, having two of them. Because at the minute, the only item that I'm really truly noticing is brimstone. Like broken murder being doubled might increase the activation effect. Uh, like how how often it activates, um, and um, the 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 black skull might be even a slightly more damage, but I'm I'm really not sure about that. Okay. Good, good. The chariot. Hey, we got ourselves another sack room here. Oh, for fuck's sake! I tried again, and I just whiffed it. I just need a fire rate up so badly, which haven't got one at all. But it's because we're not getting boss items. Fire rates and fire rate ups are mainly from the boss pool, so we kind of miss out on a lot of those. Um, do we already have a? I don't know if we already have a bookworm effect, do we? Oh, we, we of course we do. We're holding a book. Um, yeah, let's pop that. Good, good, good. Uh, I don't think two times longer effect really affects us at all, does it? Check this out. Common cold? Do you know what? I think it's good enough. I think it's good enough. I think poison shot, is it going to tear us green? No, it's not. But poison shot is decent enough. And honestly, with that, the two times activation effect on poison could be kind of nice. We do have a sack room on this floor as well to mess around with. Another crawl space. We're getting quite lucky with crawl spaces this run too. Adam's rib is just finding all of them for us. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I don't know what's down there, but I'm guessing it's um, a black market, maybe? Oh, hello. Alrighty then. Ooh, health up. Good to have. Right, uh, magician card. I'm sorry, but you are getting destroyed. You are gone. Right. This is kind of a weird one, uh, because we've got to play the sack room now. But yeah, magic mush here. 
Gotta love it. Sadly, Magic Mush is one of the only all-set stuff that isn't a fire rate up, though, so that's a bit upsetting. There you go. Remove two of those. Come back this way. Get a charge going on. Ooh, this guy is purely frozen. And then we can pop that again. Okay, health's getting back to a decent spot. Sorry, but when you see Magic Mush, you can't not take it, right? You just can't not take it. It's beautiful. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Nice. Whoa, what the hell hit me then? Was there a spider under me? I think there was. Ooh, shop could be good here. I got good money. Oh, that that that, fly, that rock fly was just like bye. Ooh, yes. I definitely want to take that for now. Uh, we'll check what what else we got down here, but I don't think there'll be much that we want. Oh damn! I wasn't ready for enemies. I wasn't re wasn't ready for enemies. Heck. Okay, good. Right, pop that. Um. I I kind of want nurse goblin here. I think nurse goblin could be incredibly good. Therefore, I'm going to try and get the, get the money together to buy it. Pop this. And that's why you pop those. <laughs> yeah, I know that left hand's been good to us, but this is just such so much of a better trinket for us right now. Right, it's good to go. This could be secret room. I don't know why, but it really feels like it. And it is indeed. Pop that. Is this, um, this is Dank Depths 2, so we want to be grabbing our, uh, we want to be grabbing our full card when we can. I haven't actually seen the skull yet, but keep an eye out for it. Actually, just grab, just grab the stars card. That'll do it for us. And we don't have to worry about finding it. Right, question is now, do we try and remove more Broken Hearts? Because this is basically our last chance, unless the Ascent removes Broken Hearts. Because if it does, that's really busted. <laughs> we do get a bed at the end as well, which will also remove Broken Hearts, remember? So that's that's not a big problem in that regard. I was really hoping for a fire out before we left, but hey her. Really should have been a little quicker on that shot there. We could have got boss rush. Could have got on boss rush, but that's the risks we run. Right. Can't remember where the entrance is. It's just over here, I think. Ooh, let's just grab this chariot card real quick, and we'll go in here. Just so we can do that. Right. I think we are good to go. Let's be on our way and go on to the Ascent. I'm excited for the Ascent. I really am. Very excited indeed. But yeah, if we remove a Broken Heart on every Ascent floor, we're going to be golden. And now we have Bugger Tears as well, which is just going to be... Holy shit. <laughs> that was entertaining to watch. Pop some bombs around the here, I guess. See what we get. It's an interesting room. Moon card. I think we just pop the moon card here. Boom, boom. Let me hear you say where. Grab that. We can go into our cash room for free here. Why not? Yeah, our, our red chests have not been too kind to us, really. Ooh, I tell you what, that's so good for us, but by your mind. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, it's fun. <clears throat> by your mind, poison shot, we got loads of good stuff going on here. Loads of good stuff. Silky Penny, no thank you. I've messed up my map again. And got the, the timer sitting there. Never know how I end up accidentally doing that. And I never know how to fix it. It's just random chance at this point. Just stabbing random buttons and hoping for the best. Oh, hello there. Give me some of that. Oh, we got two of them as well. <laughs> Funny. What's left? Oh, hello. It's the little butthole things spinning around. Doing their own thing. Oh god, the brimstone boy. Scares the hell out of me. God damn. 
This has been just a, a gorgeously sweet and fun run. The developer hybrid, the developer of Mass Demo, is going to love this run. <laughs> I always love it when, like, I get a really good showcase run for a custom character. And like, the, then the developer gets to, like, see that unfold. It's always, it's always fun to know that, like, it's going to be enjoyable for the developer to watch this. Because this is, like, a really good... Like, it basically, from the get-go, this has just been kicked off of, of being just a crazy run. Magic skin. That's so funny. Magic. If we had more of a way to get rid of um, of Broken Hearts at this stage, I would definitely be taking Magic Skin, but unfortunately we don't. Um, I guess I'll reroll this a little and see what we get here. There's no more items coming our way, so I don't really think this is very worthwhile, unless we just use it to reroll these and we get literally nothing of any worth. Do you know what? Do you know what? I've got to be careful about it, but I should definitely carry this. I, I hope it doesn't need to be in our active slot, but just having it means that we, when we die, we'll respawn, right? So it's a little bit of a safety net for us. Right, we want to ascend. Like, let's see. If this gives us a broken heart removal, we are good to go. It did. It did. That is so good for us. Oh my god, I just love I just love how big this brimstone is. It's insane. Wait, did it? Oh no, yeah, it did, it did. Door mimic, why are you in a boss room? That's just dumb. The logic on these needs to be flipper flip doodad a little bit. Just to make it a little more sensical. And a little less nonsensical. Booker T is really nice because we can latch them onto enemies that have invincibility phases. Um and then um once they become once they, once they become not invincible anymore, we um, the, the Bugatier hits them and drops an Adam's Rib on them. Just like his father. So yeah, going going this path with Mastema, Tainted Mastema, sorry, is gonna be, always gonna be a very good idea. Oh, just beautiful. Look at that, instantly. Get that going on. <clears throat> Keep her going. Yeah, even with our low fire rate, we're still going to wreck the boss here. I really wish we could have done a bit better with our fire rate, I got to admit. <clears throat> but otherwise, I'm very happy with how this run is going. Look at that. Straight away. No, thank you. Adam, Adam's rib has been one of the, one of the large saviors of this run, I got to say. It has been doing such good work for us this entire time. Right, away we go. Yeah, it's just like getting rid of literally all of our broken hearts. Kind of overpowered, really. Oh, we got a zealot heart as well. Awesome. Zealot hearts can give us um, Lemmageddon Wisps, so I like that. As long as we don't get hit. If we get hit, we lose it. Hello. Boom bow. And we got latch key and binky. So we did get a fire rate up in the form of a Lemmageddon Wisp, which unfortunately is kind of temporary. But it is a fire rate upgrade nonetheless. So I appreciate it. Spawn two to, uh, two to four coins upon picking up a heart. Ooh, that's pretty good. Hello, soul hearts. Nice to see you. Yeah, this guy here, look. He's going to pop up. And he's dead. <laughs> it's just like an activation trigger for damage. It's great. But you can see a lot of the enemies are taking damage the moment we walk into a room. Then Adam's rib is just clearing them out. And because Adam's rib has a small amount of AoE, it's uh, triggering the next enemy's um, AoE. The next enemy's Adam's rib, which is triggering AoE again. Also, zealot hearts on these floors are so good. We got ourselves another Binky and Moldy Bread by the looks of things there. Just 
The longer we can keep these Lemmergetting Wisps, we're going to be very happy. Because we have, a, we have a lot better fire right now. I really don't want to lose it. Oh god, this room is hell. We just about survived there, but yeah, this room's hell. But yeah, look, we've, we've removed literally all of our Broken Hearts. Literally every single one of them is gone from the Ascent. Like, literally, we got back to full HP. That's so good. And we got two more Lemmergetting Wisps here as well. Uh, Silver Ring. So, I think we should take Silver Ring here for a damage up um, and then get in the bed, which should remove that Broken Heart. At least one of them. Yeah, there you go. Um, what, what Wisps did we get here? We got Burza and I don't know what the other one is. I can't quite tell. Y'all ready for this? No, thank you. Imagine if I picked that up and it doubled. No, thank you, though. I'm okay. No, thanks. I'm full. But yeah, like, we do have problems with the fact that we'll probably lose our Lemma Getting Wisps reasonably quickly here. But I think Bugger Tears is going to mean that we do just a ton of damage to this guy. Obviously, we're going to get more damage on the second phase, um, on the actual beast fight, because we're going to be killing stuff, which is going to trigger our skull, which is going to give us more damage. So we do have to think about that. Oh, Broken Murdom. Yes, please. Oh, dude. Broken Murdom kind of screwed me a little bit there, I will admit. Well, there you go. We are doing buku damage right now. <laughs> this is just beautiful. This is the run of runs. There you. Unfortunately, Adam's rib isn't going to be quite as potent in this area because enemies have a lot of health. But still, look look at all those. Unfortunately, as he leaves the screen, it seems that he gets rid of the bugger tears, which is kind of annoying, but... Fair play to you. But Broken Murdom here, you can see, just helping us out a ton in both ways of removing tears and stopping him from moving. This is where we've really got to be trying to be as careful as possible to not lose our Lemmergetting Wisps. This, this fight should be a piece of piss because we're going to be getting damage ups. Yep, as you can see, we're killing stuff and we're getting a ton of damage. Adam's rib triggering all the time. That was a piece of piss. Very easy. Okay, war. I've, I just, I just love that we managed to get double brimstone for basically an entire run. I've never had that before. Awesome. I, when I picked up brimstone, I didn't even think about the fact that that could have happened either. I completely forgot about that, uh, about Anarchy doubling items when I picked it up, so I'm so glad it triggered. That's just, it's just awesome. There you go, you're gone. And we're just stomping through. We are just stomping through. This guy generates things. We might lose some Lemma Getting Wisps here, because the, the whole, um, yeah, this bit. But we will get a, quite a big damage upgrade when he does this, so... As long as we dodge carefully, we won't lose any, and we didn't, so. Beast time, and I think the stalagmites will also trigger our damage up as well. Although, they might have fixed that. I can never remember if they fixed that or not. I think one of the recent patches did change them counting as kills, so. We'll see how that ends up, ends up working out. But, it looks like we're unlikely to lose too many of our Lemma getting Wisps now anyways, so. We should be good to go. All I really care about is keeping our fire rate. The Bugger Tears are doing a good job, of course. Every time we fire one of these, we get just an insane amount of damage on this guy. Oh, God, I lost my Holy Mantle, though. That was very stupid of me. Okay, just remember, Broken Murdom is very fucky on this stage. There's our Lemma Getting Wisps going goodbye. Okay, we, we entered second phase. We're good to go. Fire those bombs at him. If you brimstone the bomb, it just launches it at him. Great. 
There you go. We got him. Easy victory. And that was a just a fantastic, fantastic Mastema Showcase run. Absolutely loved it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.